Welcome to another episode. It's a late night show. It's actually a shit show. Since two days ago, I wanted to test our new 16S battery here. I have everything set up, ready to go to test our new amazing BMS. And I started charging this battery here with our power supply. Uh, 54 volts, I said, five amps. Came back an hour later and the current was on zero. I said, oh, the battery is already charged. Not bad. Nah. It's this guy here, as I posted in the community tab on the channel, the Van P Tech has given up the ghost. I cannot regulate voltage anymore. There's no current flowing, nothing. So last night I emailed the Van Venpack official store, Van P Tech official store on AliExpress, and said, look, this is shit. This is only five months old and it's already broken. It's not working anymore. And they got back to me pretty much last night and said, well, we will ask the engineer, can you send us a video? So I made a quick video of what is actually happening. And they advised, look, okay, open the case. We will teach you how to find the fault. <laughs> I said, okay, that'll be interesting. So they wanted me to have a look at the uh, red capacitor there and see if there's a crack in there. And I'm currently charging the battery from the Blue Eti. Okay, let's see if there's a crack somewhere. From here it doesn't look like, but let me take this whole board out. It's the fan. Okay. So now we have a little bit more. No, it doesn't look like there's a crack in there. It looks very, very good. No crack, no crack. Okay, I'll text them back. <laughs> it is interesting. Here, here. Here's the Van P Tech official store on AliExpress. And we are texting back and forward now. They sent me photos how to check on the red capacitor. And I'll send them a photo back. <laughs> now I'm waiting for their response. It is cool. A good service. Well, since my battery tester broke down, I used the power supply all the time to charge batteries here in all constellations. I've got a 3S pack here with these uh, 304 ampere hour cells. I charged them with the power supply and last night I put the um, I put the 48 volt battery, the 16S, to 80 ampere hour batteries on the power supply and charge them up for about two or three hours and then I came back and current was on zero. It's not good. I don't know why everything breaks down. Well, I have ordered a new battery tester and a new power supply as well, both from eBay here in Australia. I cannot cannot wait until it comes in a few weeks time from China. Uh, even it is probably 15, 20% cheaper. I need I need at least one power supply which can push some energy here on this battery. Otherwise, we are not getting anywhere with the BMS. I need to connect this BMS. I want to show you how it works. I want to see how it works. I haven't seen it in action. I've got it here. We need to test this BMS as quickly as possible because some of you guys are waiting for it. I'm waiting for it because this will make the decision how to further design our battery shelf. If this BMS works, well, then I will use this BMS for both of my battery banks and for any other battery bank as well. But we need to wait until this is all sorted here. There, there it is, there it is. So they want me to um, unsolder the capacitor and basically bridge this one. Why is this not? Doesn't matter. And basically put a little bridge in between these contacts there. So that's what I'm going to do now. This is where we are. This is where the capacitor sits, I believe. Yeah, definitely. So I will just put this little bridge here, this little bridge across these two contacts and solder it. So from what I can see, these are the two input terminals here. 
uh, phase and neutral, and the capacitor sits in line with these incoming power lines here. So there should be nothing happening when I do that. Okay, let's see. All right, this is done. Obviously, this capacitor is very, very suspicious to them, hey? They want me to short it. They ask for cracks and everything. Okay, I have to put this all back together in a safe way so we can um, connect it back to power. Ah, I just saw this. this is not the incoming line. This is the um, power selector here for 110, 220 volts which this capacitor is connected to, where the power line comes actually in over there. This is our incoming system. Well, you can see this line here, this thick line across the PCB, going there, underneath these transformers over there. This marks the high voltage zone of the PCB, and everything else is low voltage regulation control circuits. Okay, let's connect it back and see if this made any difference. Just make sure this one is not touching anything here. The whole PCB sits on the heatsink here, so there's nothing touching underneath. And I'll just connect this back. Just make sure I use an RCD here, in case. Okay, let's plug it back in and turn it on. Ooh, they fixed it. They fixed it. Look at this. It's working again. I can't believe it. Okay, let's short these two. I need to be mindful though, because I have not screwed the uh, MOSFETs here on the heatsink. They are still... So we don't want to draw too much power. Okay, let's see, increase the voltage just a tiny bit, and then give it some current here as well. Two or three amps, that's it, it wo it's working again. It is really the capacitor. Okay, I'll let them know and see what they want to do. Obviously, it has some cracks or something which I cannot see. So I have to unsolder it and see what it actually does. Or maybe we don't need it because we are not switching the voltage between 240 and 120. So maybe it can stay as it is. And it's all sweet. That's insane, eh? It just works again. All the way up to 61 volts. Nice! Nice job! So this was the initial test yesterday we did after shorting this um, capacitor over there. And I asked them actually what is the capacitor for and they said well this is just a filter capacitor in line filtering your power coming into the power supply here. And if you have a very noisy network with spikes and everything, uh, it's better to have one. But um, I explained to him then that we, this power supply is running from the off-grid system uh, all the time, basically. And he said, no, nah, don't worry about it. Just keep the um, short uh, across the contacts and it'll be fine. So we don't really need this capacitor and I'm not switching to 110 volts anyway. So I just want to clean this up a little bit. All right, and this concludes our repair of the WenP Tech power supply here. Just um, shorting out this capacitor. Okay, I'll put everything back together and we give it another test and then we can continue charging our battery here. Uh, before I put the cover back on, I'll give it another test. Just to make sure.
seems to work. That's fascinating. All right, and this concludes now the repair of the Wen P Tech um, KP something. Well, I must say I am impressed that they provide such a service and chat with you, email, text with you, back and forward for two two days now, two and a half days basically, sending photos, giving suggestions, and walk you through the repair process step by step. So. I would never have expected this service from a company in China from AliExpress. But this is the WenP Tech official store. So this is the manufacturer. This is the manufacturer directly. So you're not talking to a store which is selling these power supplies. This is the manufacturer. And that's why they could help you. So probably it's not a bad idea to pay a little bit of attention where you buy stuff on AliExpress. If it is an official store, you should get a better service in cases like these. Yeah, guys, we are back up and running. Unfortunately, I have ordered already a new one, a 60 volt, 60 volt, uh, 5 amp power supply. So very similar to this one. But I guess you never can have enough power supplies at home, right? So we will have another one of these. Well, while I got the guy from when P Tech on the line, basically, I asked them if, if they are not having a larger power supply, like 60 volt and 10 amps or 20 amps. And he said, yeah, sure, we do. So I ordered one, I ordered a larger power supply from them. So with adjustable 0 to 60 volts and 0 to 20 amps. It is a 1.2 kilowatt power supply adjustable. And this will give us a far better experience here charging these larger battery banks than later on. Even 12 volt battery banks, a 4S configuration, 300 ampere hours or something takes just forever with this one here. But the new power supply will do this fairly quickly within 24 hours. So I'm really looking forward to get this power supply. It is also like a little bit of programmable you can adjust voltage and current without connecting anything so you don't have to short your um, terminals anymore of your power supply you can adjust the current just straight on the display and save the configuration then um, I'll show you in a later video anyway then okay guys so far this video um, from the last two days basically I mean we are a solar and battery channel here on YouTube but but I think this stuff belongs in here as well. This is just what you experience when you deal with batteries and solar and everything. There is material breaking down, there are devices shitting itself and you have to deal with it. So you have to repair it or replace it or something. So, and I just share it here. And maybe this video helps someone in a similar situation who cannot adjust the voltage anymore, no current output. It is just this one inline capacitor apparently. And it's all fixed. So whenever something needs to be repaired, I will put this here on the channel as well, because I think this is all part of the whole experience. This is just what you have to deal with. Okay, guys, I hope in the next video we have charged this battery here up and I can show you the BMS I wanted to show you months ago. And this is partly why this battery build here, the battery 2.0 is so much delayed. But now we are back on track. Hopefully we can get this done now and hopefully we can test this BMS and see. I just hope it is as good as I think it is. All right, guys, until the next video, guys, stay charged, stay safe. And again, thanks for watching. See you then. Bye bye. And of course, thank you for all your donations, guys. You are amazing. Especially Dagheri from Scotland. Mm -hmm.